a glossary of IT terminologies for the recruiter. Software engineering. Software engineering is the application of methods, approaches, and techniques to perform analysis, design, implementation and maintain simple to complex software applications. A software application is a set of computer programs that run in coordination to solve a business problem specific or non-specific to an industry. Software development. Software development is the process of designing, developing, testing and deployment of a software application, framework, or a program. It involves creating code and design for a piece of program that eventually augments into a software application. Software Development Lifecycle. Software Development Lifecycle commonly abbreviated as SDLC categorizes the end-to-end -end process of software development into a series of steps performed parallelly or in a sequence. The entire process of software development is divided consciously into phases where each phase holds its Signy 1 cans towards a holistic, efficient, maintainable software product. Software Development Lifecycle Phases. 1. Planning. 2. De one Ning requirements and architecture. 3. Design and prototyping. 4. Development. 5. Testing. 6. Deployment. 7. Operations and maintenance. Each phase of the cycle contributes individually towards the end product and is characterized by its own set of processes, procedures and credible individuals capable of performing their duties insightfully with a vision of delivering a complete, reliable software. Each phase requires a unique set of skills and formal training and experience. Requirement gathering and analysis. Involves conversation with stakeholders to articulate what the main scope of the software is, the features the software should have, the resources needed in terms of tools, people and time. This phase involves critical decision making on how the software is going to be built and the must-have features in it. Individuals who participate in the requirement gathering and analysis process are Business analyst. Business analysts are the key people in bridging the gap between the leadership of the organization, their management and IT. They engage in communication with end users, stakeholders, developers, business minds inside and outside an organization to analyze and deliver products or a part of the product with what is one naturally feasible and available. They analyze the organization's business model, design processes and systems and how changes to them can improve efficiency and add value to the organization. They are also required to analyze, transform, and resolve business problems with the help of IT. Role Description Business analysts work between project managers and users. Their role involves detailed requirement gathering, documentation of communication, specifications, processes and acceptance testing from the user. Responsibilities 1. Defining requirements in terms of IT and business. 2. Communicating with end users. 3. Planning of projects. 4. Budgeting the project. 5. Forecasting. 6. Creating reports. Skills. 1. Verbal and communication skills. 2. Analytical thinking. 3. Conceptual thinking. 4. Perception and prediction skills. 5. Ability to conceive the business model and drive changes and improvements. Tools. Business analysts use tools to track requirements, create decision models, and manage projects. Some of the popular ones are, Microsoft Office, Reich, Salesforce, Power BI, Oracle NetSuite, CRM Tools. System Analyst. A system analyst is responsible for analyzing, designing and implementing information systems. They assess the suitability of the systems in terms of their outcomes and collaborate with end users, programmers, vendors to achieve the outcome. Role Description. 1. Examine existing IT systems, automation systems and business models. 2. Analyze requirements of a system. 3. Implement the product proposal in terms of requirements of time frame, UI architecture and result and how all these can be delivered to the client. 4. Test feasible solutions. Responsibilities. 1. Interact with external clients, internal clients, stakeholders, developers. 2. Assess interaction between existing systems and new systems. 3. Translate requirements to high-level project briefs. 4. Analyze potential solutions in terms of technical and business suitability. 5. Keep up to date with latest practices in the industry. Skills. 1. Knowledge of hardware, software and programming. 2. Translate business requirements to technical detail. 3. Interpersonal skills. 4. Attention to detail. 5. Planning and negotiating skills. Tools and languages. 1. Web-based languages. 2. High-level, object-oriented programming language. 3. Databases. 4. UML. 
data analyst. A data analyst collects, cleans, interprets raw data into readable information to make business decisions to address or solve a problem. The data analyst uses tools and techniques to process an organization's data from various sources to gain insights. Role Description 1. Collect, clean, analyze data and make it available to external and internal clients. 2. Use statistical methods on clean data to derive patterns and trends. 3. Visualize data using appropriate visualization tools to make better decisions based on patterns observed. 4. Establish key performance indicators to improve existing decisions or make better decisions. Responsibilities 1. Apply well-established techniques on data to interpret it for making decisions on an entity. 2. Use statistical and mathematical methods on data to derive insights. 3. Filter and query data to fetch results. 4. Use charts and graphs to visualize performance of overall business and propose improvement strategies. 5. Develop data collection and storage systems. Skills. 1. Data visualization skills. 2. Analytical skills. 3. Critical thinking. 4. Technical documentation and communication skills. Tools and techniques. Databases. The typical textbook to one NES a database is a small to big, organized collection of data. Queries are written against the database to retrieve the required results. Databases are of two types, SQL and NoSQL. SQL databases. SQL databases store data in a relational, tabular format, storing data in rows and columns where rows are called records and columns are fields or attributes. MySQL, Oracle are popular relational databases. NoSQL databases. NoSQL databases store data in the form of key-value pairs or graphs with links making it easier for searching and fetching data. CouchDB, Cassandra, MongoDB are popular NoSQL databases. Data visualization and presentation tools. Tableau. Tableau is a leading business intelligence, visualization tool for performing analysis, visualization, performing calculations on a complex dataset through a simple, user-friendly interface. Microsoft Excel. Excel allows you to interpret, visualize data in many different ways. Microsoft PowerPoint. Widely used by data analysts to present. SAS. SAS stands for Statistical Analysis Software and is used for performing statistical analysis by retrieving, reporting, analyzing statistical data. Languages. Python. R. Language. Data Scientist. A data scientist writes software programs to analyze data sets. They are often in charge of statistical analysis, machine learning, data visualization, and predictive modeling. Languages used by data scientists include SQL, R, and Python. AI or ML, artificial intelligence or machine learning, engineer. An RD1 CL intelligence engineer uses his or her technical capabilities to assess the current performance of a software product and gain insights by running machine learning algorithms and predictive algorithms on several datasets collected from different data sources. Role description. An AI or ML engineer collects and runs analysis on huge datasets to generate predictions, forecasts, recognitions using existing machine learning algorithms or develops new machine learning models. Each software targets a unique industry which requires predictions and business insights to perform better in the market. Responsibilities. 1. Understand business goals and vision. 2. Ensure the collected dataset is free of anomaly. 3. Understand scope of the problem and design appropriate machine learning models. 4. Verify accuracy of results. 5. Visualize results of prediction, forecast. Tools and skills. 1. Analytical thinking capability. 2. Mathematical skills. I. Integrated development environment. Jupyter. PyCharm. RStudio. Visual Studio Code. Languages. Python. C++. R libraries. OpenCV, NumPy, Pandas, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn. Change Analyst. A change analyst is responsible for grasping shortcomings, problems, milestones and setbacks surrounding a project and suggesting changes to impact a business. A change analyst helps an organization and organization's people to adapt to new strategies. While a business analyst works on the existing business model, a change analyst works on transitioning towards a newer, better model. Role Description. A change analyst is responsible for identifying challenges faced around a particular piece of task, or a program or a project and propose feasible, better strategies. Responsibilities. 1. Apply change management process. 2. Train members on newly adapted change in process.
3. Analyze the effectiveness of the change. 4. Document and write reports on insights gained from adapting the change. Skills. 1. Leadership skills. 2. Individuality. 3. Communication. 4. Documentation and reporting skills. 5. Analytical skills. Architecture. A software is dissociated into multiple components and architected to comprise a holistic version. Software architecture to 1 NES how these individual components interact with each other. The components can be assembled based on architectural patterns and principles. Client or server architecture. In a client-server architecture, there exists a central server containing data. Multiple clients send requests to the central server and the server in turn sends the response data to the respective clients. API. Application Programming Interface. Two heterogeneous applications say a mobile application and a desktop application written in different programming languages can interact with each other if a common API for both is available. It is a set of protocols for building and integrating software applications. Data is available as an API to which client applications send requests to fetch data. API is written in languages such as JavaScript, Ruby, Python, Java, Node.js. REST, Representational State Transfer. Representational state transfer is a set of guidelines for building web services providing interoperability between remote computers. It is focused on resources and basic operations, like editing, reading, and adding, related to them. They are commonly used to expose public API. SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol. Simple Object Access Protocol is a way of exchanging structured information between computers. Compared to REST, it is more formal, less flexible, and requires schema de one nation, WSDL, Web Services Description Language. Monolithic Systems. A monolithic system is a single-tier software system. The data processing layer and the user interface are combined into a single program. Monolithic software is designed to be self-contained. Components of the program are interconnected and interdependent rather than loosely coupled as is the case with modular software programs. Microservices. Microservices are a variant of the service-oriented architecture, SOA architectural style. The idea behind microservices is that some types of applications become easier to build and maintain when they are broken down into smaller, composable pieces which work together. Each component is autonomous, developed separately, and the application is then simply the sum of its constituent components. This is in contrast to a traditional, monolithic, application developed in one piece. The microservices style is used by many organizations, like Netflix, Uber, and Facebook today as a game changer to achieve a high degree of agility, speed of delivery, and scale. Service-oriented architecture, SOA. SOA is a style of software design based on discrete software components, services, that collectively provide functionalities of larger software architecture. A service is a discrete unit of functionality that can be accessed remotely and acted upon and updated independently, such as retrieving a credit card statement online. In this approach, services are provided to other components by application components, through a communication protocol over a network. Basic principles of service-oriented architecture are independent of vendors, products, and technologies. Service-oriented architecture has been mainly used and focused on a big enterprise scale. CRUD CRUD is an acronym of Create, Read, Update, Delete. It describes a type of application focused on simple data editing without any rich business operations. Colloquially called, Database Viewers. Software Design and Development. Software design models the way in which the application will work. This is the phase where critical elements such as user interface, operating systems, programming languages, architecture decisions are made complying to proper industry standards. Software development is the actual process of writing programs individually or as a team to build the application. Software development has a broad spectrum of quali one ed individuals designated to write programs in their respective domain. Front-end developer. Front-end developers develop the client side or the user-facing side of applications through which users interact with the application. Front-end engineers are responsible for a user's satisfaction when they access an application in terms of user-friendliness, loading speed, accessibility. Front-end engineers develop applications that exhibit the same performance on screens of any size. This is called responsive web design. Role description. A front-end developer works on the client side of the application, the website or web application. 
This typically means they work with a designer and make sure the site or application looks and feels the way it is supposed to. Responsibilities. 1. Design. Develop user-friendly and high-performance web applications. 2. Responsible for overall look and feel of the web application. 3. Reconstruct existing websites to increase performance. 4. Migrate to new versions while retaining the same functionality. 5. Understanding various information a website will have, structuring the website and how best to present the information on the website or web application. Tools, skills and languages. 1. Creativity. 2. Problem-solving skills. 3. Debugging skills. 4. HTML, CSS, ES6+. 5. Frameworks and libraries. 6. Bootstrap. 7. Responsive design. 8. Way, UI, UI designer. UI designers design the look of an application. They create elements which allow any user to interact with the application. They are responsible for the look and feel of the website. UX designer. User experience engineers are responsible for collecting information on experience of a user while using an application and make relevant decisions on how UI is reformatted to better suit the user's needs. Backend developer. A backend developer takes charge of the functionality of the application to be served as a service API to mobile, web, front-end developers. They engineer how data and information stored in a database can be retrieved using database operations such as create, update, retrieve and delete using high-end programming languages. They do one nay the business logic or the core part of the application. Role description. Backend developers develop services, API to retrieve information from databases and provide them to front-end engineers, mobile developers to consume them. Responsibilities. 1. Design robust APIs to support different clients. 2. Integration of data sources and databases into a single system. 3. Providing necessary resources to client-side tools and skills. IDE, Integrated Development Environment, is a code editor application designed to help programmers write, run, and debug code. Examples, Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, Visual Studio, PHPStorm, etc. Languages, C Sharp, Java, Visual Basic.net, Maven, Spring, Hibernate, Ant, Junit, Swing. Full Stack Developer, A full stack developer is someone who works with both the front end and back end of an application. The front end is responsible for the visual look and feel, while the back end is responsible for behind the scenes logic and infrastructure. It does not mean they have mastered everything about web development, but they can work on both the front end and back end with minimal assistance. A full stack developer is required to know how to program a browser, server, and database for the entire project. Based on the programming languages used for front end, back end, server side, or databases, there are different types of stacks. Some popular stacks are, Mean Stack is a popular full-stack framework, consisting of MongoDB, Express, JS, AngularJS, and Node.js. AngularJS is used for front-end framework while Node.js is used for server-side programming along with Express, JS. MongoDB, which is a non-relational, NoSQL database, is used for the storage of data. MERN stack consists of MongoDB, Express, JS, ReactJS, and Node.js. Unlike Mean stack, ReactJS is used for front-end development in a MERN stack. LAMP stack, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, uses the Linux operating system, the Apache HTTP server, the MySQL database, and the PHP programming language to create web applications. For years it has been an effective solution to develop enterprise-level web applications with enhanced customization and flexibility. It is common to substitute other programming languages like Python, Perl, and even Ruby for PHP in LAMP stack. Ruby on Rails, or just Rails, is a server-side web application framework written in the language Ruby. A Ruby full-stack developer uses a combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for front-end programming, MySQL or MongoDB for data storage and management, and Rails for back-end development. Django stack developer uses Python stack, which consists of Django, MySQL, HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Django is a free and open-source Python framework that is used for server-side web development. Role Description 1. Server-side management, which includes maintaining remote connections, managing users and groups, 1. Rewalls and permissions, software installations, and updates. 2. 
Cloud computing, which includes deploying and managing hosted environments. 3. Database management, including relational databases such as MySQL or MSSQL and NoSQL databases such as MongoDB. 4. Backend processes, such as web servers, API design, etc. 5. Front-end processes written using tools such as JavaScript and its frameworks. 6. Mobile application development, if the same project needs to be used on an Android or Apple device as a full-fledged application. Responsibilities. 1. Design and development of the client-side and server-side architecture of applications. 2. Design, develop, and manage databases. 3. Create and maintain effective APIs. 4. Unit testing the code for edge cases, usability, responsiveness, and efficiency. 5. Implementing security measures to safeguard data and privacy. 6. Collaborating with cross-functional teams such as the design and testing teams to do 1NA, design, and ship new features. 7. Releasing stable application updates, which includes bug 1XES, additional features, improved performance, and efficiency. Skills. 1. Programming skills. Excellent knowledge or Pro 1 C and C in front-end programming languages. Example. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, XML, jQuery, back-end programming languages. Example. C Sharp, Java, Python, familiarity with JavaScript frameworks and libraries. 2. Database management and DevOps. Knowledge of relational. Example. MySQL, and non-relational. Example. MongoDB, databases. Familiarity with web servers such as Apache. 3. Security. Knowledge of security concerns and best practices involved. Middle-tier developer. This is a developer who writes non-UI code that runs in a browser and often talks to non-core code running on a server. In general, the middle-tier is the plumbing of a system. The term middle-tier developer is used to describe someone who is not specialized only in the front-end or the back-end but can do a bit of both, without being a full-stack developer. Engineers rarely have this as a title, as it is more of a description of a skill set than a career path. Big Data Developer A big data developer writes software programs to store and retrieve vast amounts of data in systems such as data warehouses, ETL, extract transform load, systems, relational databases, data lakes management systems, etc. A big data developer is often familiar with frameworks and systems for distributed storage and processing of vast amounts of data such as MapReduce, Hadoop, and Spark. Languages used by big data developers include SQL, Java, Python, and R. Embedded software developer. Embedded software developers work with hardware that is not commonly classy one-ed as a computer. Microcontrollers, real-time systems, electronic interfaces, set-top boxes, consumer devices, IoT devices, hardware drivers, and serial data transmission fall into this category. Embedded developers often work with languages such as C, C++, Assembly, Java or proprietary technologies, frameworks, and toolkits. Testing and validation. The software development testing phase determines if the software developed, works as per the requirements stated and spins any bug, issues discovered and sends the software or a piece of program back to development. It involves the execution of software, system components using manual or automated tools to evaluate one or more properties of interest. The purpose of software testing is to identify errors, gaps, or missing requirements. White box testing. In white box testing, the tester is aware of exactly what the module under the test does and how it does it. In other words, the tester knows the inner workings of the module. One of the basic goals of white box testing is to verify the working row of an application. Black box testing. In black box testing, functionalities of software applications are tested without having knowledge of internal code structure, implementation details and internal paths. Testing mainly focuses on input and output of software applications and it is entirely based on software requirements and SPECI-1 cations. It is also known as behavioral testing. Unit testing. Unit testing consists of the testing of individual modules or components. Its objective is to test each unit of the software. Integration testing. Integration testing refers to testing in which the individual software components or modules are combined together and tested as a group. It is used to see whether there is any fault in the integrated units. It is normally performed after the unit testing. Functional testing. Functional testing is the testing of the system's functionality and behavior. Functional tests verify that the application does what it has been designed to do. 
more specy one Kali, we test each functional element of our software to verify that the output is correct. Functional testing covers unit testing, component testing, and UI testing among others. System testing. System testing is performed on the system as a whole to see whether the system is working as per the requirements and functionality specy one ed. It takes the components of the integration testing as input and performs the testing. Regression testing. Regression testing is performed to check whether the changes to the software do not produce undesirable results. It is used to ensure that the previously developed software components and tested components continue to perform correctly after the changes. It also checks that the changes have not broken any functionality. UAT, user acceptance testing. User acceptance testing is done by the end user or client to accept the software system before moving the software to the production environment. It is used to check the functionality of the software end-to-end -end related to the business row. Assertion. An assertion is used in automated testing to assert the expected behavior of the test. An assertion fails if the result is different than what you expected it to be. This is a key concept in functional testing. Assertions are commonly used in unit testing, but the same concept applies to other forms of automated tests. Test case. A test case is the complete set of prerequisites, required data, and expected outcomes for a given instance of a test. A test case is designed to pass or to fail. Often this depends on the data passed to the test. Test scenario. A test scenario is a sequence of activities performed in a system, such as logging in, signing up a customer, ordering products, and printing an invoice. Test cases can be combined to form a scenario especially at higher test levels. Test suite. A test suite is a collection of test cases. In automated testing, it can mean a collection of test scripts. Mocking. Mocking means creating a fake version of an external or internal service that can stand in for the real one, helping tests run more quickly and more reliably. When an implementation interacts with an object's properties, rather than its function or behavior, a mock can be used. Stubbing. Stubbing, like mocking, means creating a stand-in. But a stub only mocks the behavior, and not the entire object. This is used when the implementation only interacts with a certain behavior of the object. Automated testing. Automated testing is the execution of test cases using an automation tool. The test data is prepared and the test cases are executed using the required test data. Test scripts are created for the testing of the application. Tools in common use for automation testing are Selenium, Appium, Ranarex Studio, QTP, Quick Test Professional, Loadrunner, RPT, Rational Performance Tester, RFT, Rational Functional Tester, Wadir, Apache J Meter Software Development Engineer in Test. A software development engineer in test is responsible for writing software to validate the quality of software systems by creating automated tests, tools and systems to ensure that products and processes run as expected. Technologies used include Python, Ruby, and Selenium. Deployment. Once a software application completes development and is tested and verified to the point that it is free of known defects or bugs, it is made available to the users. This stage is called deployment. Deployment pipeline. Deployment pipeline defines the sequence of stages that must be completed before an application is rolled out to production. By breaking up the deployment lifecycle into stages, you can collect increasing confidence, usually at the cost of extra time. Early stages reveal most problems yielding faster feedback, while later stages provide slower and more thorough probing. Stages can include building, deploying, testing, archiving, etc. Continuous deployment. Continuous deployment is similar to continuous delivery but ends with the package being deployed to production instead of just being ready to be deployed. Continuous integration. Continuous integration is an extension of trunk-based development practice, where each integration is verified by automated tools and tested to give quick feedback and detect errors as fast as possible. Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is a software engineering approach in which teams produce software in short cycles, ensuring that it can be reliably released at any time. This means the deployment package is prepared and automatically tested continuously, example, once per day, and ready to ship to production. Automated server. Automated server helps automate the non-human part of the software development process with continuous integration and facilitating technical aspects of continuous delivery. Development tools, terminologies and processes. Feature. A feature is a distinguishing characteristic of a software item, example, performance, portability, or functionality. Ticket or issue or incident. 
a ticket or issue or incident as a running report on a particular problem, its status, and other relevant data within an issue tracking system. They are commonly created in a help desk or call center environment and almost always have a unique reference number, also known as a case, issue, or call log number. This number is used to allow the user or help staff to quickly locate, add or communicate the status of the user's issue or request. Build tools. Build tools are used to convert programming code written by the developer into binary code that is executable by a computer. It usually manages external dependencies, libraries or frameworks, which are used in the project. Examples. Gradle, Maven, Rake, MS Build, Thing. Content Management System, CMS. Content Management System, CMS is the collection of procedures used to manage workflow in a collaborative environment. In a CMS, data can be defined as nearly anything, documents, movies, pictures, phone numbers, scientific data, and so forth. CMSs are frequently used for storing, controlling, revising, semantically enriching, and publishing documentation. Serving as a central repository, the CMS increases the version level of new updates to an already existing file. Version control is one of the primary advantages of a CMS. Version control system. The management of changes to documents, computer programs, large websites, and other collections of information. Changes are usually identified by number or letter code, called a revision number, revision level, or simply, revision. For example, an initial set of one less is revision 1. When the first change is made, the resulting set is revision 2, and so on. Each revision is associated with a timestamp and the person making the change. Revisions can be compared, restored, and with some types of files, merged. Subversion. Subversion is a popular open source version control system. In contrast to Git, all developers use one centralized repository. Git. Git is a free open source distributed version control system for tracking changes in computer files and coordinating work on those files among multiple people. It is primarily used for source code management in software development, but it can be used to keep track of changes in any set of files. Commit. In version control systems, a commit is a saved change made to the source code. Commits are usually added, deleted files or directories, changed file contents, etc. Trunk-based development. Trunk-based development is the practice of merging all developer working copies to a shared mainline several times a day. GitHub. GitHub is a popular Git hosting service. It is mostly used for code. In addition to Git, it provides several collaboration features, important IT terms such as bug tracking, feature requests, task management and wikis. Website. GitHub.com. GitLab. GitLab is a Git repository hosting like GitHub, which provides wikis and issue tracking functionality. It is an open source project developed by GitLab Inc. Website. GitLab.com. Bitbucket. Bitbucket is a Git and Mercurial repository hosting service owned by Atlassian. Like its counterparts, it provides several collaboration features such as issue tracking and wikis. Jira. Jira is used for essentially managing any kind of project. It is used to track the progress of a project. Conruence. Conruence is widely used for documentation of investigation, analysis of projects. Infrastructure related. Infrastructure. Infrastructure refers to the composite hardware, software, network resources, and services required for the existence, operation, and management of an enterprise IT environment. It allows an organization to deliver IT solutions and services to its employees, partners and or customers and is usually internal to an organization and deployed within own facilities. Operating system. An operating system is system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. All computer programs, excluding firmware, require an operating system to function. Examples. Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Shell. The shell is an interface that enables the user to interact with a computer. It provides a user interface for access to an operating system services. In general, operating system shells use either a command line interface, CLI, or a graphical user interface, GUI, depending on a computer's role and particular operation. The name comes from the fact that shells are layers around the operating system kernel. Log. A log is a record of what has happened. Typically, it helps diagnose problems or gets certain insights on what is going on in an application's lifecycle. 
Cloud service. A cloud service is any service that is made available to users on demand via the internet from a cloud computing provider's server, example. Microsoft Azure or Amazon Web Services, as opposed to being provided from physical on-premises servers. What exactly is the cloud? An in-one-night virtualized server, IVS, is essentially what cloud is. Technology, processing and storage is actually growing much faster than the needs of the people on the planet. Regardless of how much data we churn out, we will inevitably find that the capability of storage will become more and more efficient. This is an example of Moore's law in full effect. In this context, virtualized means that we know it is somewhere, we don't know where, and if we're users, we don't really care. We just know that the IT architecture has been given over to a third party. Instead of visualizing this as a hard drive, think of it more as a server. This server can do much more than just store data. It can also house your software and have your infrastructure in it. It can grow as quickly to meet your needs. This is the root of what cloud is really all about. Cloud can eliminate the headache of running an organization's own IT department, and that IT department running a huge infrastructure. For any sized company it is beneficial to shift the IT department to the cloud. Read on to find out what the cloud can do for you. Software as a service, SaaS, software as a service, sometimes referred to as, on-demand software, is a software licensing and delivery model in which software is licensed on a subscription basis and is centrally hosted. SaaS is the most familiar form of cloud service for consumers. SaaS providers make the application available to users through the internet, usually from a browser-based interface. SaaS customers can enjoy the software without having to worry about development, maintenance, support, update, or backups. The downside, however, is that your software experience is wholly dependent on the SaaS provider, which is responsible for stability, reporting, billing, and security. SaaS examples, Gmail, Dropbox, Salesforce, and Netflix. Platform as a Service, PaaS. Platform as a Service is a category of cloud computing services. It functions at a lower level than SaaS, typically providing a platform on which software can be developed and deployed. PaaS providers abstract much of the work of dealing with servers and give clients an environment in which the operating system and server software, as well as the underlying server hardware and network infrastructure are taken care of, leaving users free to focus on the business side of scalability, and the application development of their product or service. It allows customers to develop, run, and manage applications without the complexity of building and maintaining the infrastructure typically associated with developing and launching an app. PaaS makes the development, testing, and deployment of applications quick, simple, and cost-effective. PaaS examples, Pivotal Cloud Foundry, Heroku. Infrastructure as a Service, IaaS. Infrastructure as a service is the most basic cloud service model offering computing infrastructure, IT terms like virtual machines and other resources, as a service to subscribers. It is at a lower level compared to PaaS. Typically, IaaS provides hardware, storage, servers, and data center space or network components. It allows you to quickly scale up and down with demand and pay only for what you use. This makes IaaS well-suited for workloads that are temporary, experimental or change unexpectedly. IaaS examples, Amazon Web Services and its EC2. Infrastructure as Code, IAC. Infrastructure as Code, also referred to as programmable infrastructure, means writing code, which can be done using a high-level language or any descriptive language to manage con one durations and automate the provisioning of infrastructure in addition to deployments. IAC is not only about writing scripts, it also involves using tested and proven software development practices that are already being used in application development, example. Version control, testing, small deployments, use of design patterns etc. In short, this means you write code to provision and manage your server, in addition to automating processes. It is an approach to managing IT infrastructure for the age of cloud, microservices, and continuous delivery. It automation. IT automation is the linking of disparate systems and software in such a way that they become self-acting or self-regulating. It is the process of creating software and systems to replace repeatable processes and reduce manual intervention. It accelerates the delivery of IT infrastructure and applications by automating manual processes that previously required a human touch. With IT automation, software is used to set up and repeat instructions, processes, or policies that save time and free up IT staff for more strategic work. 
With the rise of virtualized networks and cloud services that require rapid, complex provisioning, automation is an indispensable strategy for helping IT teams deliver services with improved speed, consistency, and security. IT automation is a powerful tool that can scale a business, provide Signy one can't cost savings, and allow IT staff to focus on strategic rather than administrative work. A wide range of data center and cloud operations can be automated, resulting in faster operations. Thanks to automation, IT environments can scale more quickly with fewer errors and are more responsive to business needs. A fully automated environment can reduce the time to delivery for production-ready resources from weeks to less than a day. ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning ERP, refers to a type of software that organizations use to manage day-to-day -day business activities such as accounting, procurement, project management, risk management and compliance, and supply chain operations. A complete ERP suite also includes enterprise performance management, software that helps plan, budget, predict, and report on an organization's financial results. ERP systems tie together a multitude of business processes and enable the row of data between them. By collecting an organization's shared transactional data from multiple sources, ERP systems eliminate data duplication and provide data integrity with a single source of truth. Today, ERP systems are critical for managing thousands of businesses of all sizes and in all industries. To these companies, ERP is as indispensable as the electricity that keeps the lights on. ERP encompasses a wide range of business processes, including financials. ERP software can include capabilities for procurement, supply chain management, inventory, manufacturing, maintenance, order management, project management, logistics, product lifecycle management, risk management, enterprise performance management EPM, human resources, human capital management, and customer relationship management CRM. Cloud-based ERP applications are often embedded with next-generation technologies, such as the Internet of Things, IoT, blockchain, AI, machine learning, and digital assistance. These advanced technologies deliver data and capabilities that not only enhance many traditional ERP functions, they create new opportunities for increased efficiencies, new services, and deeper insight across an enterprise. ERP systems are comprehensive across an enterprise. Some major ERP providers are 1. Infor. 2. Oracle NetSuite. 3. SAP S4HANA. Business One and Business by Design. 4. Sage Business Cloud X3. Culture. Scrum. Within project management, Scrum, sometimes written Scrum or Scrum, is a framework for developing, delivering, and sustaining products in a complex environment, with an initial emphasis on software development, although it has been used in other one ELDs including research, sales, marketing and advanced technologies. It is designed for teams of 10 or fewer members, who break their work into goals that can be completed within time-boxed iterations, called sprints, no longer than one month and most commonly two weeks. The Scrum teams assess progress in time-boxed daily meetings of 15 minutes or less, called daily scrums, a form of stand-up meeting. At the end of the sprint, the team holds two further meetings, the sprint review which demonstrates the work done to stakeholders to elicit feedback, and sprint retrospective which enables the team to reflect and improve. The fundamental unit of Scrum is a small team of people, consisting of a product owner, a Scrum master, and developers. The team is self-managing, cross-functional and focuses on one objective at a time, the product goal. DevOps. DevOps is a combination of software development and operations. In the traditional way of SDLC, the development team and IT operations work separately. DevOps is an immense idea of getting both the teams together to get the most effective results. It is in association with agile methodology. DevOps is commonly de one ned as a set of practices to automate processes related to operations in software development, to build, test and release code in small frequent steps. It involves processes, tools and in general a mindset to automate everything. One of the core practices in DevOps is C, continuous integration, which involves committing code to a shared repository, daily or when a logical development checkpoint is reached, whichever is earlier. The repository then calls upon the services of the C server, which lies in the cloud, to check the stability of the system, software. The, successes, or, failure, of these checks is no T1 ed to the front-end and the back-end developers, who can then act accordingly. These days C, CD tools in addition to running automated tests, are also capable of doing continuous deployment. 
mostly that means that when code is merged to a master branch it will automatically be deployed to some testing environment. People also do automated production deployments using C, CD tools, but usually there is still some human in the loop clicking a button to approve the release of new versions of code to production customers. The takeaway here is that DevOps is a practice of combining software development plus operations tasks. The primary goal is to automate operations tasks using software development practices and tightly couple the operations and development arms of a given organization. Some, not restricted to, C, CD tools are Jenkins, Team City, GitLab C, Circle CI, Codeship. DevOps related tech bash, Python, Ansible, Terraform, Docker, Kubernetes, Git. A DevOps engineer introduces the processes, tools, and methodologies to balance needs throughout the software development lifecycle, from coding and deployment to maintenance and updates. A DevOps engineer needs to be able to use tools and scripts to be able to deploy and maintain the app while they solve any issues that crop up along the way. DevOps engineers will likely know at least one programming language pretty well, some kind of C, CD system, and some kind of infrastructure automation tooling system. DevOps engineers should also have a good understanding of networking and security since a lot of the job is connecting servers to each other and to the internet. Modern DevOps engineers specialize in one or more public cloud providers as well. Software security. Software security is an important part of designing a software application, program or a product which accounts for protecting the software against potential threats in the form of human, bots, malware that might tamper the data or functionality contained in the software. It is used for defending data and operations of a software application. Why is software security important? 1. An organization is susceptible to threats from external factors like its own competitors in the industry, intruders, malicious wares or viruses that might potentially manipulate an organization's data, its users or intended functionality of the software application. 2. Theft of data is a very common occurrence in the software industry. Hence it is important to impose restricted access on data. 3. Leaving a software system unprotected from malware can bring about virus attacks on the system which can cause downtime in turn causing a Signy 1 can't loss in business. 4. To always keep the system safe and secure from potential threats and mitigate risks from attacks, cybersecurity analysts work closely with the system to reverse attacks that possibly breach the system. Cybersecurity Analyst. The role of a cybersecurity analyst is to understand the architecture and infrastructure of a company's software product and keep the hardware, software and network resources free from attacks. The analyst always monitors the software to report suspicious activities. A cybersecurity analyst is also responsible for evaluating the security layer of the system and researching new trends to protect the software. The analyst is also responsible for educating the rest of the organization upon potential attacks, threats and how to recover from them. Responsibilities. 1. Understand the IT infrastructure of an organization and develop reliable security layer. 2. Monitor network for suspicious activities in terms of logins, new device additions, logins from new location and notify the concerned. 3. Research on upcoming trends in security. 4. Educate and document notes on possible activities that might cause a threat and how it can be reversed. 5. Timely update of various third-party software that aid in implementing security. Skills. 1. Analytical thinking. 2. Problem solving. 3. Requires to be a team player to investigate cause of attacks and measures to resolve them. 4. Adaptable to new practices. Programming languages. Front-end. HTML. The information, verbal, media, documents going on a website to be displayed to the user for them to interact with, is structured using HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and comprises tags to display, organize content on the website. CSS. Cascading style sheets adds aesthetics to the web page HTML tags to make the content more presentable. CSS is also used to display information for various screen sizes. It is a critical skill for a web, front-end developer. ES6 Plus. ES6 or ECMAScript is the newer version of JavaScript adding enhancements to the language. ES6 Plus is widely used by itself or in the form of frameworks, libraries for web development. Architecture. JavaScript. JavaScript is a lightweight, just-in-time language. It is prototype-based, dynamic, object-oriented and can be used for web-based and non-browser applications. 
Ruby. Ruby is a dynamic, reflective, object-oriented, general-purpose programming language. It was designed and developed in the mid-1990s by Yukihiro Mats, Matsumoto in Japan. According to its creator, Ruby was influenced by Perl, Smalltalk, Eiffel, Ada, and Lisp. Node.js. Node.js is an open-source, cross-platform, back-end JavaScript runtime environment used for designing traditional APIs and back-end services. Backend. C Sharp, one of the IT terms that has a less obvious pronunciation, is a programming language that is designed for building a variety of applications that run on the .NET framework. C Sharp is simple, powerful, type safe, and object oriented. Visual Basic.NET, VB.NET, is a multi paradigm, object oriented programming language implemented on the .NET framework. Microsoft launched VB.NET in 2002 as the successor to its original Visual Basic language. Although the .NET portion of the name was dropped in 2005, Visual Basic.NET is used to refer to all Visual Basic languages releases since 2002 in order to distinguish between them and the classic Visual Basic. Along with Visual C Sharp, it is one of the two main languages targeting the .NET framework. Java is a compiled, object-oriented programming language, similar in syntax to C++. It is intended to let application developers write once, run anywhere, meaning that compiled Java code can run on all platforms that support Java without the need for recompilation. Most common Java frameworks, Hibernate, Swing, Spring, Eclipse, NetBeans. Versions or flavors of Java. J2SE. Java 2 Standard Edition or Core Java. Used for developing non-web applications for finance and telecommunications. J2EE. Java 2 Enterprise Edition. It has become the rapid application development tool for internet development. The platform is known as Java 2 Platform, Enterprise Edition or J2EE. J2ME. Java 2 Micro Edition. It is used for mobile applications. Maven is a build automation tool used primarily for Java projects. Maven addresses two aspects of building software. First, it describes how software is built, and second, it describes its dependencies. Ant Apache is a software tool for automating software build processes. It is similar to Make but is implemented using the Java language, requires the Java platform, and is best suited to building Java projects. Junit is a unit testing framework for the Java programming language. Junit has been important in the development of test-driven development, and is one of a family of unit testing frameworks which are collectively known as XUnit that originated with Sunit. Hibernate is an object relational mapping library for the Java language, providing a framework for mapping an object-oriented domain model to a traditional relational database. Swing is the primary Java GUI widget toolkit. It is part of Oracle's Java Foundation classes, JFC, an API for providing a graphical user interface, GUI, for Java programs. Spring is an open-source application framework and inversion of control container for the Java platform. The framework's core features can be used by any Java application, but there are extensions for building web applications on top of the Java EE platform. Although the framework does not impose any SPECI 1C programming model, it has become popular in the Java community as an alternative to, replacement for, or even addition to the enterprise Java Beam EJB, model. Data analysis or science or AI or ML. Python is one of the most used programming languages, top three according to IEEE Spectrum Research. It was 1RST released in 1991 and has since gained popularity for being simple to learn, yet powerful in solving problems. The syntax is like the C++ family yet equipped with a variety of modern solutions. Python allows for easier reading and reviewing of code than other languages such as C++ and Java. R is an open-source programming language and software environment for statistical computing and graphics. It is widely used among statisticians and data miners for developing statistical software and data analysis. IDE, Integrated Development Environment. An integrated development environment is a code editor application designed to help programmers write, run, and debug code. Visual Studio is an IDE developed by Microsoft used for building, debugging and publishing code for desktop applications, web applications, mobile applications and AR, VR applications. The Visual Studio environment can be set up based on the development needs of an application using the available extensions. Visual Studio can also be connected to a source control or a cloud service for publishing the application. 
Visual Studio uses IntelliSense to provide code pre-completion. Visual Studio Code is an IDE predominantly used for front-end web development using node-based applications. Visual Studio Code allows compiling of JavaScript, Java, Python code and for various other languages that have an extension that can be added to VS Code. The main advantage of VS Code is its lightweightedness. Eclipse is yet another well-known platform for developing Java SE applications and other client applications. Eclipse is primarily used for Java development but it also supports development of other applications with required plugins. NetBeans is used for Java-based development of client and server-side applications. It has several inbuilt servers to host client applications. PyCharm is a popularly used IDE for Python applications. It is widely used by beginners to learn the language. It also has capabilities to access cross-functional platforms and develop applications on them. IntelliJ IDEA is used for development of applications that compile and use the Java virtual machine. It provides a highly efficient environment that supports development of Java-based applications increasing developer productivity. Other terminologies. Front-end related. Frameworks. Frameworks are pre-written modules for common elements of web development. Libraries. Libraries contain various extensions and a set of methods to be added to a website. Bootstrap is a free open-source front-end web framework for designing websites and applications. It makes it very easy to create web pages by empowering designers to select from a large collection of pre-built elements, behaviors, and shortcuts. The aim is to unify design and allow both non-technical and technical designers to improve the quality of their design. Responsive design. The web developer developing the application must be conscious that the end user will access the application from various screen sizes. The design should adapt itself to respective screen sizes. This is called responsive design. GUI or UI. Graphical user interface or user interface is that part of the application visible to the eye of the user. The user interacts with the application and leverages the functionality through the UI.